your body is temple of Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. If there is any stranger, write and begin to cast it out in the name of Jesus. Cast it out. Tout esprit étrange dans votre vie, commencez à les chasser dans le nom de Jésus Christ. Chassez-les. Open your lips in Jesus' name. Stop for that, my husband. I've wedded with a man, and we have we you have say, two boys. You say what? I wedded with him in the water. I'm not going to chase you. Just talk. You no. wedded with who? You're trying to separate me and that man. Which man? The man I wedded with. Where? It's in the water. It's in the water. Yes. And you, are, you want me to separate from the man so that I'll burn for this one. I refuse. I won't burn for that one. So I want you to see what is happening in the war today. All what we are seeing, this war is not your own. Talk. You say what? You want to make me to burn for this man now? No. Which man? The husband in the house. Where is the husband in the house? At Lokoja. Uh, which man you wedded with? The one in the water I wedded with. Want to separate me and them. How many children you have for him? Two healthy boys. I want to separate me and him. Who want to separate you? Man of God. You want to separate me and my husband. He put crown on my head. I wear me where the gun. Where is your husband now? The one I love is in the water. Okay. The one you love is in the water? Yes. The one you hate, Inko? It's at Lokoja. Uh. That one at Lokoja, I refused to burn for him for 17 years now. No picking. Why? We have agreed that I should not burn for him. But if I separate you, Nanko? I love that man. You love who? The one in the water. If I separate you, what will happen? That is why you have come. You have what? Yes, I can see that God in you. Okay, can you move here? Please. Please what? I'm since I can't come near you, please. Why? No, I can't come near you. If you don't come near me, I'll come near you. Oh, yeah. Child! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered today. Yeah. And go right now and have a child for your rightful man in the name of Jesus Christ. They say they have destroyed a life for long. Daddy, please. I didn't know I was suffering the man in the physical. I think these are the lessons you are taking home. You say, well. I didn't know I was, was suffering my husband in the physical. You never knew? I didn't know. He was taking me everywhere. He was taking you everywhere? <laughs> For deliverance? Yeah. That place, I know they can't deliver me. I'm just following him to that place. Oh, he's crying. Oh, oh, and I realized that dream that brought me here. Oh, he's Daddy. regretting now that he has married for many years. No child, he, and he has two children for this man. It was when I dreamt they showed me this house. They Come say, here. Come here. So you are now realized that you are suffering your husband. I didn't know I was suffering him. That you time. never knew. But now you have realized. And I now realize. Can you see, understand what you were saying before? What did you say? You say you have one man in the river. Yes, he's gone. He's gone. He escorted me to Lagos. He said they should not scream me that day. When they were about to scream me to register me on the line. For healing. He said we should go out. So when they were arranging people for prayer, you disappeared. I didn't want so that it will not, they will not separate me and him. You never believed that you can be delivered? I, when I called my husband and he said, the synagogue they dreamt and they saw the building of a synagogue. And
and it was open wide. And everybody were running into it. If I didn't do that screen, I should not come back home. Your husband said that. You were normal before. But what later came upon you when we were praying and you began to talk? When this prayer was going on, the man said, better go and surrender because after this prayer, I will no more come to you. Love for Jesus Christ. How many of us are wine and dine with Jesus? We worship him in the natural, not in the spirit. That is why you need to depend on what people say about God. What you read about God only. What the situation and all look like. Because you worship him in the natural. Hardly anyone here can explain what is happening. What, what am I looking at? I don't understand it. I'm always just a woman coming out to talk. Take note of the word. Separation. This is why you are here today. That is why everyone here is here today. Yeah. To separate you from poverty, yeah. from darkness, yeah. from affliction, yeah. from sickness, yeah. from setback, yeah. from barrenness, yeah. from failure. Yeah. Many are here at the point of breakthrough. You see them, they will say, ah, he has made it, he has, he has made it, he has made it. Just at the point of breakthrough, the tea will just drop. Pop. People will say, ah, very too frustrating. If the whole thing drop at the beginning, now one can reason that they are not making it. But after you are beating many people, beating many people, at the, that point of breakthrough, when many hope on you, Many have invested on you. Many are supporting you. Many are looking at you as their hope. By the grace of God, I'm Pastor Ruth Ajimi Ojoka. And the name of my ministry is Baptist Evangelism Movement. Last Sunday, when the man of God was praying, I felt that touch of God in me, and I came out confessing that I am married to a spiritual husband that is in the water. And I have two boys for this man. And each time I want to make love with this man, the man used to put the mattress on the river and will be there making love. And after making love with this man, I will not have affection for my physical husband. There are great lessons to learn. Listen. What he's saying. And listening to her statement, very professional. Even the way he presents the message, you will know in the natural is a pastor, but in the spirit is not. Let's listen. Hey, I was praying for people, delivering people, seeing vision for people while this evil spirit is still operating in me. So in this evil spirit operation, I go to prison, praying for people, go to hospital, praying for people. Sometimes I carry soap to the prison to bless them with the soap. And I'm having this uh, spiritual husband operating inside of me. And when I see that this cannot, it's not affecting my life as I'm praying for people, my life was questioned. I ran to a greater authority for deliverance. Man of God, I want you to help me talk to my husband because this spiritual husband of 18 has dealt with me in my family. That I have rendered my husband, turned him to a poor person. Each time the money is coming, one sickness or the, or the other will come and the money will follow that way. I was not even ready to make love with him at, at the time he wanted to have uh, love with me. 
I was so much in love with the man and the spirit. This thing has affected me so much, man of God. That is why I ran to the greater authority for deliverance. There is this time in life I got pregnant. I started attending at Tineta. The scans say there is a baby inside of me, but all of a sudden, the baby disappeared. My spiritual husband now removed the child and replaced it with crab, which I was operated with a, over 200,000 to bring out the, the crab inside me, and they gave it to my husband. They asked my husband to take the, the crab to physiotherapy at Abuja. You mean physically the thing is really what you're saying? The, the crab was, at Federal Medical Center Abuja, the crab was brought out and it was alive. And my husband was confused because he had, he had no money to further the test. He decided to burn the crab. Man of God, I've run to a greater authority, greater anointing to the... The question, which people don't understand. Now, you have demon in you, and at the same time, you minister the word of God. You pray for people. You, did, you, you pray, you minister the word of God, you pray for people. What can you say about this? Can anybody there? No. Okay, outside there, how many you know are like this? You don't know. If I'm right, you don't know. So, show you that a man may confess I'm a pastor and not such in heart. Anyone can minister the word of God in the natural, but not everyone can do so in the spirit. Tell your neighbor. Can you give us your message in the past? Those messages you normally preach in the past. So that these people will know that really you are a pastor in the natural. Praise the Lord. It is a great privilege given to me today in this great altar. You see? Do you listen to that? Hallelujah. Great, great privilege. In the journey of Paul to Rome, mm -hmm. in the island of Mata, a poisonous snake was fastened into the hands of Paul, and Paul shook off the beast. Today, I'm a portion to shake off every beast in my life in the name of Jesus. You listen to that? When I came out, did I speak like that? He speaks better than me. <laughs> yeah, he slapped me. Hallelujah. <laughs> you listen to that. When I came out, did I take you to Rome? This morning, I tied to my message. Jesus' name is preached in which authority? Hallelujah. In which authority are you preaching the name of Jesus? Is it in authority of God or in authority of demon? Let's look at Isaiah 49 from verse 24 to 26. The Bible says, Shall the prayer be taken from the mighty or the lovable captive deliver? But thou says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prayer of the terrible shall be delivered. I know everything that is of God in you and Satan has positioned himself. A mighty man over your life. The word of God said today, that mighty man shall be taken away. And that good thing of God shall be delivered unto you. I'm saying, in which authority are you preaching the name of Jesus? For 17 years, I was calling the name of Jesus. I'm using myself as a case study. I was calling the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus, I was calling, praying for people does not affect my life. And there was a question how is it that this Jesus does not affect my life? And I'm calling the name of Jesus for people. Pray for them. Give them vision. I be, it becomes a question in my life. Let us look at again the Bible, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10. God himself has a, have exalted the name of Jesus Christ, highly above every other name, 
And he said, Of things in heaven, things in the earth, things beyond the earth shall bow down to the glory of God the Father. That in the name of Jesus, every name was bound, every tongue was confessed. If you are, I realize and I know for sure under this great anointing, now if you are preaching the name of Jesus and it is not in, a, in God's authority, no demon will bow down for you. If you like, cast city next month. Okay, thank you. So let's call your husband out. If you give her 24 hours, she will preach powerful sermon that you begin to cry. But who is she? But today is free. In the past, because we could not allow her to talk before she is delivered. Man of God, please. When this problem of spiritual husband is the reason why my husband was so tired, he even sent me to Bible school, but I couldn't be delivered in that Bible school. Man of God, I was he, free. He, he sent you to where? He sent me to a Bible school where I spent a year in that Bible school. To, to do to, for, the, for deliverance? So that I will be delivered from this uh, spiritual husband. Solo el testimonio de esta mujer que es pastor, el cual recibió la liberación el día domingo. You can see, this man is his savior. If not this man, I don't know who will have uh, housed you till now. He bear many things. God wants to use him to deliver you. Because I know you're coming here, it's as a sort of the pressure this, this man given to you. That you must be here for deliverance. You want you to be delivered. This is to tell you that uh, marriage is not only just to have issue, but companion. My name is John Ojoka from Kogi State. I'm a retired police officer, DSP by rank. This woman is my wife. This woman, I have left with her for a long time, over 17 years now, but I never knew she's possessed with evil uh, spirit. This woman, each time she fell sick, I always take her to hospital. She make me useless. She has thrown me poor now. I went everywhere, even in the churches and other this thing. Because of the behaviors and the what, and the peace that it is not in the house, I decided to send her to Bible school where she will go and learn more about God so that she will become a born again and will have a, peace, a peaceful homes in the house. But all this improve abortive. If after coming from the Bibles, this is the woman, if I call her to make love with her, she says she's on her Bible reading. She can start from 12 o'clock in the midnight, continue reading the Bible and praying, crying up to 4 o'clock. She will not have time to come to me on the bed. And with all this thing, I never know she's still with the evil spirit. Or everywhere I go, anything I put her on, proof abortive. Everything I do, failure. To the extent that I have run to, I have now become a poverty. Now, I have gone to hospitals where I went, I spent over 200 and something thousand just to for an operation. She did the operation, the operation failed. And we keep on trusting God that God will surely deliver. But I virtually God did it. So the last one I want, I'm trying to say, I want God, the man of God to help me deliver me from all this evil power in her. So that I will have my own respect, uh, my peace in the house. Thank you, man of God. Help me. You have listened to our father. If this marriage will not continue, I will let our father know. If it will continue, I will let our father know. But one thing I want you to know. If this marriage will not continue, I will not invite you here. I invite you here because I see 
that this woman say have a big role to play in your house. Is she the woman I'm seeing in your home? What happened has happened to bring you close to tie the home. So this is why I invite you. I want to join your family. So, so that our father too can receive deliverance as well. So they can live together. I want to cancel them. I want to be part of their family. It's your wife. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of man of God. Thank you. And I want to thank you too. The Bible says, if you honor a prophet, you receive prophet reward. Thank you for honoring me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.